kids and cadets welcome back to Tommy time happy Monday I picked up these three junk mowers on Saturday the uh, buddy of my scrapper that delivers show up he's been showing up on and off he'll get a, a few and then and stop by he actually uh, called me when I was out having breakfast with my son I told him to swing on by when I got home and he dropped off three fine beauties. I had been working on this all-in-one chipper vacuum shredder thing. I'm going through the carb on that one. So let's look what, what I got here. I um, paid 10 each for the mowers. They were all kind of rough. I got a free power crap bag and I paid five each for the two cycle stuff one is missing the head the other one looks complete the uh, Ryobi yellow Ryobi oh four cycle I didn't notice that when I bought it looks like a two cycle on this one it's not my favorite but I figured what the hell five bucks each so let's start looking over this stuff this is um all rough stuff you thought well this looks pretty good from this side mr rat and mr snake are coexisting different species sometimes they fight but not today so you thought this looked good for 10 but we have some cancerous metal going on here so this thing is shot as far as the deck i i couldn't believe it with the uh, tire tread doesn't look terribly bad why did this thing rust out it doesn't have bald wheels like this craftsman does so we'll look at that one second but let's um check out the rat damage here the um fuel cap's been gnawed on Oh, there is fuel in it. I should get the turkey baster. So this uh, Turo is a 2016. I kind of looked at dates just now to speed up the process. Let me put you back up here. Look for turkey baster. This thing's really low to the ground. They've adjusted the wheels really, really low. So let me grab a turkey baster. I have one. I just need a container. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to look around for a, a, a shitty engine, which I think I might. I think I ran into um, an engine last summer that had a really bad rod knock. It wasn't um, salvageable, but the deck was good. I may do a little switcheroo here. Because this, this deck's had it. When they get sandblasted and rusty, it is generally around where this quick wash thing is. The sticker here on the quick wash holds moisture. And then you'll get sandblasting from the blade here, just weakening the structure oh, there is there is a little bit down at the bottom I don't have the cleanest container it's just a coffee container but it looks like uh, elephant urine it looks aged out so that might be an issue. Let's take a look at the um, oil. It's at the bottom hole. What else can we look at? Filter. Kohler powered 675. So sold a couple over the weekend. Like I said, Saturday, uh, people have been messaging, messaging me, sales are starting to pick up, but I've got cheap skates, 
they want to pay um, 50 and 60 for my cheapest machine, which I got listed at 120. I came up with another 120 machine. Somebody came out and picked one up for 120. I dug up another older style Pulsa jet carb type machine and listed that one for 120. Okay. Before I do anything, let's just look under here and see if it's got a blade. I'm sure it did. It did some sandblasting. Wow. Blade square on the tips. That's crazy. Too bad this thing rusted out. It would have been a easy rest restification. Feels like it pulls over kind of easy, like no compression or low compression. Let me let me try starting it with motivation. Just some uh, super tech carb cleaner. Just looking in the throat, the um, The carb is really um, gummy. The um, throttle wafer is barely moving just because there's so much gum. That's the choke, actually. Choke is gummy. Throttle, I can't see. This has got the automatic choke. So that little bit of spray kind of softened up the buildup. Hopefully it's enough to get it to start. Let's do that. Pull on this thing. And then we'll look at the other turds. Nice day in southwest Florida. Temperatures are reasonable. Okay, as it started and installed, I yanked the um, uh, self-propelled bale and it was rusty. I couldn't even budge the cable, so carb cleaning on this, so I'm not crying in my soup for 10 bucks. This was fine. I'm happy with that one. Probably if I um, clean cleaned up the cable with some moose piss I could probably get the um, front wheel drive to work but the uh, the uh, deck is shot anyway so what do we got we got a crafty here March of 2011 3-11 is the uh, production date on this crafty the model 917 period 370660 um, I'm guessing it's a 675 that, that's that's kind of different somebody customized this oh, oh I see limited edition there would have been a a sticker or something here right wow never had a quantum limited edition this is a special thing oh it's just a, a clear piece of plastic to see the dirty carburetor you guys ever see this thing it shows you the uh, pleats but too bad the sun got to it and clouded it up Oh, clear fuel line. That's a special edition treat. That's stiffer than a sequoia or a redwood. What else is abnormal on this thing?
I don't see any cracks in the tank. What's the blade look like? Let me pull the blade over here. I could feel a jagged end. Feels worn out. It is worn out. So let me throw a block of wood under this rear tire. This one's worn out. This one's got tread. This is from a newer um, MTD mower. I don't know what it's doing on this old thing. This is a 2011, like I said. Let me get a block of wood, block this thing up in the back. See if there's any fuel in the tank. There we go. I just don't want to have the blade get weird on me. Okay, we got cable issues, it looks like. Um, broken safety brake cable. And the drive cable's really loose. So I know what we can do. We'll put a vice grip over here on the safety brake just to try to start it. Bone dry. I got some treated fuel. We're going to put that um, cape, um, squish this linkage together with vice grips, fuel it, and try it. Uh, a little bit overfilled. You smell smelling that oil. Got police. Police are on a call. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should use a uh, zippy tie since my certification just renewed. I always go through this dilemma. Okay, that's on there. The deck's on my toe. I try not to make these videos a shit show. I want them to be smooth somewhat entertaining, haphazard free, and I don't want to lose my right eye in an industrial accident. That's how it's going to play out at Tommy time. So somebody's been messing with this thing, kind of a wonky fuel line. Just looks like standard PVC hose. This thing will probably start the rusted and half safety brake cable. Did it in, I'm guessing. Okay, what do we got? Automatic choke. We do. Okay, this thing isn't gummed up. Never seen one of those. You guys seen this special limited edition? I wanted to say special edition, limited edition, and it's got the uh, butterfly nut here. So 2011, they made a limited edition self-propelled
good compression. Feels like it wants to go. Oh, it's going to start. Maybe not for long. I probably lost that rear wheel and said, hell, we can't, we can't rectify this thing. Either that or the cable broke and you can't start it without the, the cable, except if you're at Tommy time. <clears throat> okay. That was promising. We're going to zippy tie this thing using the, using the vice rips just to close the gap. Okay, why? Why me? Why me? If you're not certified, I'll give you my email address. I'll send you a certification in the mail. Most of you have replied. If there's any new subscribers or viewers, I'll show you how you can do that. Okay, that's much better. Zippy tie to the rescue. Why didn't I think of that? Son of a gun. Tommy period time at Yahoo. Going to motivate it one more time and then we're moving on to the Murray. I got to keep progress going. Needs a carb clean and some various parts. I'm just going to lift up on the front wheel drive here and see if it does anything. Okay, that one's shot. This one's got a little meat on it, not much, so it'd need a couple of wheels too. I'm guessing the um, teeth are missing. Okay, that's that. Smallest for last. Baby 20. This thing happens to be, what do we got? 2004. 04. Pulsa. Kind of looking dark in there for fuel. Basic mower. Where do they have the wheels? set. Oh, okay, they have a um, manual choke here and the tab's broken for that. The safety brake is tied up with um, tape, so we got to look this thing over. It's been Mickey Mouse. Wheels are in the middle position. The nuts look rusty. It'd probably be a bear to try to get the wheels move. Blade doesn't look bad. It's square. It's just dull. So if I could deal with the engine and 
get that rectified. I would just push this out the door. This this would be uh, 100 to 120. People have been begging me for cheap machines. This this would be a good candidate for a cheap unit. Okay, let's um, check oil. And um, I'll bring you up here and show you the um, safety brake cable. Oh, this thing's all all screwed up. Somebody jimmied this thing up wrong. They got the Z-bend upside down. I'm trying to check the oil. I can't even get the cap off. I need a flathead. Not a bad looking machine, no rust. I think somebody would be happy to take this for a hundred bucks. I think I even ordered some aftermarket cables just for this reason. If I ever came across one that had the manual throttle, I got a replacement. Okay, it's it's dark. It's dark and um, it's kind of low. Good enough to start. I'm guessing we're going to have to do a carb rebuild. It probably needs a diaphragm kit. Once it stops pumping gas people throw these things away I'm surprised it made it this long okay it's got a Murray number here we'll we'll look at that after but this is on the wrong side it should line up with the bail bar so you put an unnecessary stress on this thing I just stabbed myself with that that getaway strand there so this should be on this side we got tape up here the handle broke on the speed control the z bend here is just barely holding on it's all screwed up I don't know what that's all about. What do we have here? We have the model 20112 X-ray 92 Bravo. Tenth month, fourth day of 2004. It says for manufacturing date. Serial number 7541927841. Hilo Bravo. 281 10th month fourth day of 04 that's what they're calling the Murray body that's what they're calling the engine too I looked at the engine number well might as well give you that The engine number on this one is the 9 Lima 902 0221 Echo 10403 2352. So they made this in March, like I said. And what did we have here? The fourth month for the production date. No, tenth month, I believe. Either the fourth month or tenth month. So nothing um, that I've gotten is going to be an easy rectification. This might be the easiest thing if it just needs the carb rebuilt. 
blades intact, I would just sharpen it up. Somebody's been messing with this thing. I'm looking at the bolt here. There's a big nut and the um, wrong size nut here. Okay. So no spring on the air vein. And the uh, cable's all bent up. Original Briggs and Stratton filter, and it's really dry. It left let a lot of um, stuff get by. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to bring you down here to the throat of the carb and th show you this caked up stuff in there. This there's all that kind of stuff down in there. Really caked up dirt. I'm going to happy juice it, kind of get it into the throat so I'm not disturbing all that dirt. And see where the, where's the throttle set on this thing. It's, star, it's down on choke. I'm going to kind of open it up, bring the throttle cable back. And this thing's all all screwed up you know what it, it is really screwed up the little V here on the plastic should be between this notch here and the tab is past it and shouldn't be over here the V should be one, t one side of the tab here, the other side of the tab there. So this thing's way off. It's probably at um, really, really full throttle. Let me put you back up. I got to try to manipulate this cable. Okay, there we go. Yep, C the cable needs to be adjusted, but I'm changing it out anyway. So this thing was all screwed up. No wonder they got rid of it. Okay, that was, that was plenty. Let's see if this is good enough to try. Started really smoky and I saw the muffler dancing around. You got the muffler shot. These stamped round mufflers they have a tendency of rusting and falling apart spit out some oil i gotta dig up my cable here and see if it works i gotta get another spring so did the spring just rust and fall off or did harvey come over here and try screwing with this thing I'm wondering if I can get rid of the cable altogether and do a two springer maybe 
I gotta look at a similar machine see if I get rid of the cable and get a spring kit and just have it set control your speed here this might have been put on aftermarket looks like there's a sticker there Okay, that's all I got for you. Three for 30 and then um, the two weed whackers. I gave 10 for the pair. The Rusty Turo was a 2016. The Murray here is an 04 and the Crafty was a 2011. So nothing's jumping out at me like it was a tremendous find, but they were cheap, I think, with a little bit of work. What do you guys think? Should I have told them to take them all away? Which ones would you have sent away? Which ones would you have kept? Wheel issue on this thing. Especially the drive wheels, we know they're shot. And this thing here with cancer around the um, garden holes connector. Poor design, you guys, at Turo. I always see it rusting right in that area, and then it's just a shit show from then on out. Have a good Monday. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Adios, amigos. I got um, I got more to show you. Scrapper that delivers. He showed up last week at after dark. I think it was nine thirty and brought me two. We still have those to talk about, which I'll do this week. See you.